Hey, I'm driving through downtown Bar Harbor right now, headed down toward the waterfront. See, it's still pretty empty. There's, it's a fairly windy day today, here on the 29th of March, 2021. But uh, it's not particularly cold, it's in the middle 40s. I'll go down to the uh, town dock and we'll take a look around. And then I'm headed over to the grocery store. I've just come from the hospital where they uh, drained a little blood out of me. So here we go. It's quite windy today, so I expect that if we get out of the truck down on the town dock, that it will be blowing pretty good down there. Last night we had winds up around 60 knots, but only for a little while, then it calmed down into the 30s and 40s, so. Things are still pretty empty down here. Still have at least one of the town dock floats out here. And all of the hotels that have been closed all winter remained closed so uh, that was a factor we're getting close to high tide right now it's uh, 10 45 and, uh, i will step out and we'll just take a look bear in mind that it is blowing pretty hard so uh, i don't know how good the uh, sound quality will be Okay, I'm on the town dock now, and uh, I'm in the wind shadow of the town weather station. Not completely though, there's Bar Island. You can see a little surf out on the island. Not much. The wind is knocking it down because the wind has shifted from east to uh, west. So there are the porcupines. There and up there, Agamont Park, and the grass actually has a bit of a green tinge. So for my last three visits here to Bar Harbor, the grass has gone from white, aka snow covered, to brown, and now it's starting to green up here on March 29. And here are some of the waterfront businesses that are not yet open. Okay, I'm gonna head back up through downtown and go on to the grocery store. Then we'll shoot a little more video. If you look out there, you can see a bit more surf on some of the islands. Hey, I'm leaving the town dock now. I'm just gonna head over to the grocery store. And I think I might take a slightly different route since we came down Main Street. I will go out West Street and up one of the side streets. So here we go. As you can see, it's pretty quiet here today. not much going on that's because all of the tourist businesses are still closed As we head up here past some of the hotels on the waterfront and restaurants that are of course closed Here on the right is the Bar Harbor Club, which has been renovated. When I first came here, the building was very run down and obviously not in use. And then about uh, 10, 12 years ago, they renovated it and uh, fixed it all up. I'm not sure if it's a town club or if it's a tourist attraction. And here we have some homes, waterfront homes on the right. As you can see, they're pretty big <laughs> and uh, smaller, but still fairly large homes 
on the left that are not on the wire. And then in, the salt air in, which is probably close. We'll just go down a little bit further and head back up to Cottage Street where the grocery store is. The MDI Historical Society is in this old mansion. As we drive up here to Eden Street and where we will turn left and head over to Cottage, which will be the first left after this one. have to deal with traffic. Oh my gosh. It'll be changed quite a bit in a month or two when things uh, pick up with the tourist season, which everybody in the tourist business is hoping will be a banner year as people uh, feel like they can travel again after getting vaccinated. And uh, make up for lost ground from last year. So we're back on Cottage Street. We're just headed up to the Hannaford Grocery Store, which is just up here a block or so. The brick building on the left is City Hall. And uh, the grocery store is right across the street from it. So that's where we're headed. Turn in there, and we'll end this part of the video. Okay, I just left the grocery store. We're headed uh, up Cottage Street toward Main Street. It's about two and a half blocks. Here are some of the businesses. As you can see, Cottage Street is pretty quiet. Not many cars parked here. And uh, it is overall very quiet here today. We'll just go up to Main Street and then head out of town. I might make a little side trip through some of the uh, residential area just to show you what Bar Harbor looks like at the end of March. And this is a little bit unusual this year in that uh, there's no snow. It's completely melted out. And it's not unusual for us to have new snow this time of year, but it looks like we're going to get out of March with no snow on the ground. Here we are coming up to Main Street. Okay. Pull out. Not too much trouble pulling out here because there's not much traffic. There are a few cars parked along Main Street, but not a lot. Ooh, an out-of-state car from New York. Like it's a business vehicle of some sort. Haven't seen many out-of-state license plates for a while, although in the last two weeks a few have popped up. As a few tourists have come up here to check the place out in the winter. And here's the village green looking a little more green this time. Okay. And we will turn here onto Mount Desert Street where we came into town and head out. And as you can see, it's pretty quiet. Just uh, one small hotel and possibly a uh, one of the smaller inns is open, but it's hard to tell. Most everything is still closed. see what Bar Harbor looks like at the end of March and in a couple of months it will look very different when the tourists start arriving. Overall it's a very quiet and pleasant town in the winter uh, although there isn't a lot to do here despite the fact that Bar Harbor has nearly a hundred restaurants 
basically almost none of them are open in the winter and uh, so that makes it very very quiet and peaceful and here we go to the town stoplight and we will head out of town in just a second so, oh here we go as we cross Eden Street here, we come into the part of town that was completely burned down in the 1947 fire. Eden Street is pretty much the boundary, although there are a couple spots uh, a little further down Eden Street where the fire came across it by just a little bit, but everything here burnt down, and there's not much of the original uh, stuff left. These stone walls along the road here uh, marked the entrances to estates up on the hill that were completely burnt down and the walls are all that's left as we come down here toward uh, the Kibo Club golf course which the fire most likely skipped over because you know, golf courses don't burn that much, but all the trees around it did. And all the homes here are much newer, post-1947. Okay, that's a look at Bar Harbor today. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back again on Thursday, and we'll take another look then. Although it's supposed to be driving rain on Thursday. So uh, it might not be that exciting and it might look kind of dreary. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.